Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. In today's episode, we're going to be doing wheel bearings on the wife's car. And then hopefully, if we have time, we're going to be doing stainless steel brake lines on Midori. So I saved the fun one for last. We got a sponsored video today. So thanks to Josh Blainer for sending out a set of knuckles. This is probably the best deal as far as getting your knuckles replaced that is out there for Saturn's right now. So if you're not getting your wheel bearings done through him, you're kind of, you're wasting time. But like, uh, so I'm about to unbox these for the first time. Uh, I've never, I haven't actually laid eyes on them. I'm hoping for good things. So let's see how these things look. Okay, so I got the box here. Let's go ahead and get this cut open and see what they, we got. Watch, this isn't even the novel, it's something else I ordered. <laughs> There's no way. Josh, really? Paper for plastic bags? Damn, dude! Holy crap! Dude, these look amazing. Oh, these are definitely not going on this car. I've never seen a knuckle look so nice. Damn, dude. Way to go, Josh. Wow. Man, these are way too nice to go on this car. I'm probably not gonna put these ones in particular on this car, only because they're so nice that I'm gonna hold them off for Midori, actually. <laughs> so these will be Midori's new hubs when I get, uh, whenever she needs a new set. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. And I'm gonna use the ones from the turbo car, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do a wheel bearing knuckle swap like this. Give you guys all the rundown on how to do it, so uh, you guys can do this yourself. And I highly recommend getting these knuckles from Josh because uh, man, he would have loved them beyond. Like I've never seen the knuckle look. I mean, like this is this is way too nice to put on this car. <laughs> like both sides look freaking amazing. Wow, just wow. Good, good going, Josh. Uh, yeah, so these are gonna go on the parts shelf somewhere, and I'm gonna go grab the ones from, to, from the turbo car, and we're gonna install those on here. Okay, so first things first, you wanna find out which wheel bearing is bad, and there's a little trick to do that. One of my mechanic friends taught me this, is that you can take the wheel, and if you hold on to the coil spring, and rotate the wheel around, you can feel the coil spring actually vibrate. And that tells you which bearing is bad, because that's your, that's your noise. This one also is very loose, both up and down. So that also tells me that the wheel bearing is bad on this side. So we're going to be just replacing the driver one today. And that means that we can get over to the brake lines on Midori that much quicker. And step one, remove the wheel. Okay, so next step after you get the wheel off is going to be getting the strut bolts loose. Also removing the caliper and hanging it somewhere, don't hang it by the flex hose because that uh, puts stress into it and can cause it to fail. Axle bolt off, uh, so that way you can get access to the control arm bolt. And then you also have to take off the tie rod end too. Uh, so I'll check in with you guys once I get all that taken off. Okay, well we got the old one out. As you can see, it leaves you with your CV axle, strut, control arm, tie rod end. Now, so to put the new one on, which I am using one from the turbo car. Basically, it's just a reverse order. The control arm uh, goes first. Once you get that together, get the, get the axle back in and tighten all your bolts down. Now, you do want to follow the recommended torque spec on the axle nut, which I believe is... Yeah, you know, I'm not going to put that. I'm just going to put it in right here. Uh, make sure you torque to that uh, for the life of the wheel bearing. Uh, if you over tighten it, it can shorten the life. Or if you leave it too loose, it also can cause it to go bad. I just do ugga duggas, so don't follow my lead. So we're gonna get, get this back installed and we're gonna get on to the fun stuff. And just like that, done. Car is back on the ground. And now I'm uh, gonna go take it for a test drive and see if that actually uh, cured the problem. Uh, but other than that, we're running to the store and we're gonna grab brake fluid and everything so we can do the brake line swap on Midori. Okay, well, uh, first things first, uh, before we go to the store, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the car in the garage and lift it up so that way i can put wd-40 on all the fittings and uh, hopefully these brake lines actually break free fingers crossed so oh uh, yeah we're gonna get the wheels off spray everything down and then uh, we're gonna go to the parts store and then we'll be back to you guys so we ended up getting uh, the car all up in the air as you can see here the brake lines installed uh they all broke free which was good but like i asked someone about it and they said that the i should be able to use these lines with the drums in the back but uh they're just not gonna fit so I got the rubber lines in the back, and I got the nice stainless ones up front. If it changes anything, I'll see. I don't know, but uh, 
yeah, it wasn't really uh, gonna work out with the drums. So eventually I will end up switching to disc. I already have everything I need to do to disc. I don't feel like doing that today, so. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go take the car for a test drive and uh, I think this is where we're gonna end the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please give us a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be seeing you later. Peace.